to appear, the brand new kids on the block. Present, allow me also to acknowledge my own Bishop of Bungoma, Bishop Kadima, who looks after me in the village. I've been sent here by His Excellency the President, Dr. William Samuel Ruto, and as I deliver his message, allow me to salute our fifth president, our brother Uhuru Kenyatta, our governor of Nairobi, and all the protocol has established. Nimekuja hapa kuleta salamu za rais wetu, kwa bishop wetu wapia, Salamu na hongera isiyo na kipimo wala kifani na kuambia hongera sana kwa kupanda ngazi ya ulinzi wa mioyo yetu katika kanisa letu la Katoliki na kufikia kiwango cha kuwa maskofu Rais angependa kuwa hapa leo lakini vile mjuavyo ako safari ya nje na tarudi pengine leo au kesho ameniambia niwaambie maaskofu wetu wapya ya kwamba na shirikiana na nyinyi na familia zenu na kujivunia kwa tuzo ambalo mmepewa na kiongozi wa kanisa letu la katoliki papa francis pia rais anasema ya kwamba anaheshimu kanisa la katoliki na makanisa yote nchini kwa kazi wanayoifanya kusaidiana na serikali kwa nyanja ya elimu nyanja ya afya na nyanja zote ambazo zinasaidia kushika nchi yetu isimame sio tu pamoja lakini wa Kenya wapendane waheshimiane na tujenge nchi yetu kuboresha maisha ya wananchi pia rais amesema kwa maaskofu wetu wapya jukumu sasa mlilo nalo ni kushirikiana na maaskofu wenzenu ili kuhakikisha kwamba makanisa yetu inaendelea kuwa kipimo cha yale mambo mazuri yanayofanyika katika nchi yetu na msiwe na uogofu wote kusema yale ambayo mnaona haiendi sawa kwa sababu nyinyi mkisema ni sauti ya Mungu na wa Kenya wako tayari kutoka uongozi wa juu mpaka chini kuheshimu ushauri wenu na hata pale mnaotukosoa tunakubali na kurekebisha finally i want in a very special way as a catholic myself to salute you the two bishops and all the bishops here present for continuing to be the moral barometer of our country the moral rectitude of our society. I was recently visited by some clergy from the Catholic Church who told me that we see you sitting in the speaker's seat. Please, for the sake of our nation, don't allow any legislation that perverts or corrupts the morals of our society. And I gave them my word that I will be the watchdog too to ensure that the legislation we have must be consistent and be in keeping with the expectations of our society, respecting our culture, our norms, and resist any attempt to pervert those morals through legislations that may be engineered from different quarters of the world that don't appreciate what we stand for. And I give you that promise as a church that we will do exactly that. 
Lastly, allow me also to exercise some bragging rights that Bishop, Archbishop, rather Philip Agnolo, the Archbishop of Nairobi, is born in the same county as you are truly here. <laughs> and it's the same county that gave this country life in the shadow of Catholicism. Lastly, a gift, and allow me to invite you, Your Grace, so that I can hand over this gift to you. Pray for our country, pray for our leadership, pray for all Kenyans, so that we have the capacity when we have problems, not to look for who to blame, but to look for solutions to those problems. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Wetangula, for your kind words and for the message from His Excellency, the President. Now, before I invite the Chairman of the Conference uh, to give uh, his message, uh, I bring you greetings from uh, the land of uh, Erokamano, the land of uh, beautiful people and